Hey guys, welcome to another server minor plugin tutorial and today it's on Mine Chess. So this is a really fantastic plugin which allows you to play chess in Minecraft using a massive chessboard as you can see in front of me. So what we're going to do is show you the commands by doing forward slash chess and then help and that's going to show you how to create a chessboard. So first of all we need to set a main lobby by doing forward slash chess, set main lobby. This is where you're going to have the signs to your different games. Once we've done that, we can go ahead and create a new chessboard by doing forward slash chest, create, and then let's call it server miner, for example. Once we've done this, we can build it somewhere. So make sure you're in an open space, such as in the sky, and do forward slash chest, build, and then server miner. And here it is. So if we look down here, I made uh, two earlier, in fact, and I was a bit stupid and made it in the island. So make sure you're away from everything. And finally, we need to set the spawn by doing forward slash chest, set spawn, server miner. Once we've done that, we can enable it by doing forward slash chest, enable server miner. And then we are pretty much done. All we need to do now is go back to the main lobby and we can set the sign. If you want to check your stats, you can do forward slash chest stats and someone's username. This is my other account. He uh, played me earlier and actually beat me. Um, so if we put a sign down, do forward slash chest, on the top line square bracket serve miner on the second line that's going to create a nice looking sign so if i teleport my other account here right click we are going to jump into the game so obviously you need two people for chess and if we wait for my other account to join it's going to start in 10 seconds there is a nice scoreboard on the right that's counting down and showing our points and you can obviously customize that in the config file now we will get a tool to select and move but it is my other account's turn. So all you need to do is left click one of his blocks, so a pawn for example, and then you can right click somewhere where he wants to put it. So it follows all of the chess rules, so how many blocks and which direction they can move. And you can see it selects them by showing a fire around them. Left click, and then there will be some green emeralds. And if we right click, it will show you where you can actually put it, where the square emeralds are. So now if my other account goes over to the right side, he is actually white, so he needs to go over here and select something. So what I'm gonna do now is speed up the chess game. Um, obviously, if you've got two good players, you can have a really, really long game. Um, I'm really bad at chess, so I don't really know what I'm doing. I kind of know the rules, but not really. So this is not a good example of how to play chess, but it's a great example of how amazing the plugin is. It's been really well made. Um, and as you can see, it just works fantastically and it's got some really cool features. So this is how it works and this is how you would set it up in-game. Obviously, you could build around it and make a really cool stadium, um, which would be pretty cool. But let's go ahead and hop over to the config file now and see what we can change in there. So here we are in the SM Picnic control panel and as you can see, there are four different files. So the arenas and players.yml are in fact empty and the signs.yml only gives the locations of the sign in the world. So let's go ahead and go into the config.yml. So in here, there's going to be a few different things. Up at the top, we've got the messages section. This section's quite big. So we've got the prefix up here, which you could change if you wanted to. Scroll down a bit and then we have all the different pieces. So you could change the format codes for those if you wanted to. And then we've got how the scoreboard will look down here. So you could put your server name in here and just jazz it up a little if you wanted to. Then we've got the different statuses and how they look. We have the sign format, so you could change that, change the colors if you wanted. Scroll down, we've got the main lobby, where it is, so it's in the world, there's the X, Y, and Z coordinates. So next we have the config section, so we've got the starting cooldown, we've got the ending cooldown, and we've got the maximum time for an arena. Do you want to have holograms enabled for pieces? Obviously you need holographic displays if you have that. And then we have the command whitelist, so which commands can you use while in game? Then we have some various sounds that are played when certain things happen. And then how many points do you get for capturing or going over different pieces? Then we have the reward, so at the end you will get a message and $100, although you could change it to giving diamonds or giving more money, whatever you wanted. And then the different items, so we have a leave item, which is a door, and we have a select item for moving the pieces, which is a name tag. So you could change this if you wanted. And then how long is each turn? So each player has one minute for um, them to move their pieces and then it will go to the other player. So that is everything in the config file, pretty straightforward, but it is a really fantastic plugin. If we head over to the Spigot page, you can see it's updated to the latest version of Minecraft. Um, there are some really cool images here and really awesome bits of information. Uh, but overall, it is fantastic. 
So if you want to download it, hop over to this bigot page. It is free. Just hit the download now button and you'll be away. If you need a server to host it on, check out serverminder.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.